Mercedes has struggled a lot throughout the 2022 season, and it seems like they weren't quite able to understand the technical regulations that took place from this season on. What's even worse for them is that they are currently facing their first season without a win, something that was quite impossible to imagine just one year ago. Even worse, Hamilton is heading towards his first season without a race win in his F1 career. That is why Mercedes will push as hard as they can in the remainder of the four races. The first race they'll try to conquer will be in Austin. Mercedes has a big surprise plan for the Austin Grand Prix, which is also set to determine the German team's future performance. Want to find out what we're talking about? Stick until the end to find out. Before we dive deep into these questions, let's make a brief summary of the 2022 season for Mercedes. In order for you to understand the magnitude of the problems they're facing, the team has had a roller coaster season indeed. And while they are yet to obtain their first win of the season, they did have a couple of P2 and P3 finishes, such as in Hungary and in France. Prior to that, the first half of the season was truly a disastrous one, especially for Hamilton, who got out-qualified in Q1 in Jeddah and finished P14 in Imola only to be promoted to P13 after Ocon's penalty. As for Russell, he was the driver that kept Mercedes alive in the championship battle with Ferrari, but the last two races in Singapore and Japan were ones to be quickly forgotten for the young Briton. However, he is looking forward to Austin, a track that he believes Mercedes will have a legitimate chance of winning, especially after they finally seem to understand the porpoising issue. Mercedes experienced terrible vertical oscillation issues up until July. The Brackley-based team finally solved this problem at the Silverstone Grand Prix, a track where Mercedes was very competitive and had a legitimate shot at winning with Hamilton. The next track Mercedes had a big chance of winning was in Zandervoort, where Russell finished P2 as Hamilton struggled with the tactics of his team and finished P4. Although the results of the last couple races were disappointing, the Brackley-based team is looking forward to the next Grand Prix and are still hopeful to secure second place in the Constructors' Championship. This is why they are planning to introduce their final aerodynamic upgrade package in Austin, a track that is expected to suit their car characteristics. Andrew Shovlin, the director of trackside engineering at Mercedes, spoke about the upgrade package, adding, It's our final step of aero development, and that will hopefully give us a bit more performance. But importantly, with every step we are learning more and more, and that learning we can carry into next year. Also, we have taken some weight out of the components that will hopefully get the car closer to the weight limit. However, although the team is positive to see how the new aerodynamic package will influence the W13 on the bumpy surface of Austin, Shovlin remained realistic and said that performance-wise, they are still not close to the top two teams, and it's going to be difficult to judge where the car will finish. It's a tricky circuit, and it was a tricky circuit for us last year. It was very bumpy. There was a lot of overheating as well from the tyres, and we weren't performing as well as Red Bull were on the softer tyres. They have done some resurfacing, so hopefully those issues with the bumps are a little bit less. But what's very hard this year is to really know where you're going to be on the circuit before you've gone there. It's very difficult for us to predict where we're going to be. In Singapore, Lewis was awfully close to pole position. Yet in Suzuka, both cars had a big gap to the front. Now our race pace has been reasonably strong. If we can make a step, Hopefully, we can get into the fight with the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. But qualifying for us is the really difficult one to predict at the moment. But as I said, a lot of it is about learning and we are certainly going to give it our best shot in the final four races, said Shovlin. There is one narrative that, if it comes true, will help Mercedes in their pursuit of their first win of the season. According to certain reports, now that the championship is over, Ferrari and Red Bull want to finish strong in the final four races with fresh engines. Mercedes already installed new engines in both Russell and Hamilton's cars in Singapore and Monza. However, the only driver from the top two teams who probably won't take a new engine is Sainz, which complicates things for Mercedes. Nevertheless, the aerodynamic package is also something that is going to help Mercedes in the future. You may ask yourself, why? Well, the answer is simple, and that is that the W13 has served as a learning tool when it comes to the development of the 2023 version of the car which is the W14. Mercedes is probably the first team out of the top dogs that switched its focus to the 2023 season, right when it became evident that they do not have a championship winning car this year. The fact that the concept of the W13 was nothing they could brag about is painful enough for itself, but according to Shovlin, they found some mistakes in the design of the car that is going to help them when it comes to the 2023 season. Talking about the Japanese Grand Prix, Shovlin said that the downforce level is something that the Brackley-based team had totally missed and they found a couple of settings on the car that need to be improved immediately if they want to see more success in the following season. We decided to stay at our highest downforce level. 
Part of that decision was that it was actually giving us the best lap times in the race condition where we were going to get high degradation in the dry. But we had also seen this rain that was coming in on Sunday and we felt that in a wet race that might be a benefit. As it happens, the DRS was never enabled and that meant that overtaking was very, very hard and perhaps the right decision would have been a lower downforce setting. Fundamentally, one of the things that we need to improve on the car for next year is to get the car to have more downforce at the lower drag levels and then we can race those lighter wings and still be competitive in the corners, finished Shovlin. Mercedes is far away from done when it comes to surprises and according to Russell, the world shouldn't be shocked to see a whole new different concept of a car from 2023 onwards. The fact that the team misinterpreted the 2022 technical regulations speaks for itself and it's very unlikely that Mercedes is going to sit back and wait for the result to present on their own. Russell is very confident that the direction Mercedes is taking when it comes to developing the W14 is the correct one. As he added, I'm confident that the direction we need to take is the correct one. We have a philosophy that we're going to be trying to adopt in our development and I'm very confident that this is the correct one. But equally, it doesn't mean that we can necessarily achieve it. We have a target and that's a massive positive in itself. As I said, we have a clear target we're trying to chase. Now, can we achieve that? I have every confidence that we can. We obviously don't know how much the other rivals are going to improve over this winter, but I definitely have confidence that we will have a more complete car across the circuit ranges into 2023. Nonetheless, Russell remains cautious due to the heavy competition. He added, I think nothing is off the table. For sure we have a pretty unique design with the side pods. It's not off the cards that we will continue with that design, but it's equally not off the cards that we will completely change philosophy. But ultimately, whether we have the wide side pods or the narrow side pods, that isn't the performance differentiator. There is more to it. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's something that we've worked very hard on to understand and hopefully will give us an advantage next year. So I don't want to say anything that will potentially benefit our rivals. However, the shift from being the third best to the best team on the grid isn't going to be a smooth one. And that is something that Wolf acknowledged himself. When asked about the transition that Mercedes needs to make in order to get back at the top, he said, To turn the ship in this industry is a little bit like an oil tanker. First, you have to understand what the root cause is for your non-performance, and then you have to peel the various skins off. What is the first layer? What is the second layer? Are we really on top of all the questions? And the answer is no, we're not. But I think a big chunk of the performance that we are missing, we have discovered. It's not something that we can change this year, but it's decisions that we've made for next year. But I'm not 100% confident to say that next year we will be fighting for the World Championship. The aim is, and the expectation is, but there's still work to do, said Wolf. With that being said, what do you expect from the new upgrades Mercedes is bringing to Austin? And do you think that the 2023 season is going to be a much better one for them? Let us know in the comments below.